Cancer research is a highly dynamic and rapidly evolving field. The entire field centers around these big how questions. How does cancer develop? How does it spread? And how can we slow or even stop the underlying processes? In order to answer these big questions, we have to zoom into the small details at a cellular and molecular level and start our investigations there. What's fascinating about cancer research is that it hides the potential for novel discoveries in all of its aspects. Our research projects aim to answer questions, but as any researcher will tell you, every answered question opens up 10 new ones. My research project focused on the role of the intestinal flora in colorectal cancer and whether it can be altered through dietary patterns in order to perform more beneficial functions. Our observations have brought us to a few new questions. For example, how can we determine who will positively respond to dietary intervention? And how can we improve an individual's susceptibility to positively respond? Every single discovery, big or small, is a step a building block towards that ultimate goal. And breakthroughs do happen, as evidenced by ongoing clinical trials and by novel treatments, which have been introduced into the clinics over the past few decades. The most fulfilling part of research is designing a project and the experiments, analyzing and interpreting the results, and then designing the next experiments based on those results. And the most exciting part is the possibility to veer off from the initial project plan and to stray away from the initial hypothesis and to follow the direction in which our research takes us. And I was very lucky to have been afforded the opportunity to do so in my project. Science is about advancing humankind. 